Thank you for hanging out with me today. This is KG48, and we are back with This Land is My Land. And I've just been screwing around with this guy, kind of yelling in his face. Hey, bro, what's going on with you? Actually, earlier I was hiding around the tent and, like, watching him look for this wolf that doesn't exist. I don't know why it made me laugh so much, but it did. All right, guys, we are back. Uh, you guys gave me a lot of tips, which is awesome. Uh, one of the main tips that you guys gave me... First of all, I realized I took the wrong horse. Uh, as I was watching the video back with my wife, we were laughing about it, that I went through all that effort uh, to get my horse, like, the way I want him, and then I ended up taking someone else's horse. Oh, you can't make this stuff up. I told her, I was like, I wish I did it on purpose. So that I wouldn't feel like such a fool. But I made a lot of people laugh, and that's my goal. <laughs> All right, so, uh, yeah, one of the main tips that people told me is that killing in this game has consequences. Uh, some, this is what someone said in the comments. This game is a lot deeper than, initially, than the initial tutorial shows. There are consequences, and he put that in quotes, uh, for killing and not killing, such as some neutral tribes won't join a war tribe. And then they said, honestly, the best way I found to play is just play the way you want. And if something happens you're not happy with, you can always correct it later. Then someone else says, killing settlers um, gives you bad reputation. And intimidating, intimidating them gives you good reputation. Uh, also, someone told me that like if you knock someone out, loot their stuff. They told me to loot their stuff before I knocked them out. But like before I intimidate them, I'm not sure I would do that. But yeah, they said... Loot their stuff, intimidate them, knock them out. Because if, if one of their buddies finds them, they'll like wake them up and then you'll have to deal with them again. At least then they won't have any weapons. Uh, someone else said, if you make your warriors attack an, em attack an empty slash full camp, I'm thinking they meant empty of enemies and full of loot. Because they said then uh, the camp, they can loot and burn it down. So you don't necessarily have to loot everything yourself. Also, when I, when I finished up Fort whatever it was, um, I probably should have burned it down. I did not realize. Then someone says you can rename your tribe by clicking its name on the left side of the map. Clicking its name on the left side of the map. All right, we're going to go with Cage Nation. Is there any way to, like, um, Cage Nation is pretty cool. Is there any way to, like, uh, change the name of the people in my town? That would be cool, too. Uh, but anyway, uh, also, I didn't notice here. You can actually you can actually fast forward time. I did not realize that, and that is pretty freaking cool. So I'm going to pause the game. Um, your character name changes the stats per animal. Okay, I didn't really worry about that because that's already done. Your horse does have a health bar and it d we will take damage. I've also noticed that you can... Uh, um, uh, you can do the smoke signal to bring everyone back to camp, I guess, in case your camp gets attacked. Uh, you can travel too. I think you could use that when you're out and about, right? Uh, and there was something else... Yeah, right here. We can also settle. And I can settle in different places, right? And the thing is, I want to have everyone. I want everyone to have bow and ar bows and arrows before I go settling somewhere. So as you can see right here, my guys are out. A lot of them have bows and arrows, and a couple of them properly armed. Uh, before we do that, okay. So I think what I'm going to do now is I'm going to look at my skills because there's a lot of skills. And the one skill I wanted more than anything was uh, concentration. No, not concentration. Where was it? Maybe it's in the warrior tree. Yeah, right here. Health regeneration 1. Health regeneration uh, 100 health over 5 minutes. Doesn't sound like a lot, but that's pretty good. I definitely want to get that. So let's get that right now. Okay, and now we're down to 3,000 points. Um, someone said something about backstabs and stuff, but I'm not really sure. I'm going to look through these a little bit more. as like I'm going to wait and save up some more points. I definitely wanted that health regeneration, no doubt. As a matter of fact, I can get another point in it. I probably should, because I really like that. Well, if I get attacked, I can get away and come back. I don't have to let myself get killed. I'm going to hold off. You guys let me know about the uh, points. I I'm not saying I'll do whatever you say, but I am looking for some information about these points. Uh, so that would be great. All right. So my next part of the quest is to find and intimidate uh, whoever that person is from Fort Ellsworth. All right. And Fort Ellsworth is down here. And because I didn't burn down... Um, Whatever the other fort was down here. I think it still might be there. So maybe I can go by and burn it down now. I'm not really sure. Can I fast travel down here? Because I definitely had a fire down here. But I'm not seeing it now. Um, maybe because I didn't burn down the place, I can't fast travel down there? I don't know. There was Oh, there it is. You see? It's right there. Oh, there you go. Fast travel. Fast travel 11 hours, though. It might be dark by the time we get there. Whatever. It doesn't really matter. Because we can just go to sleep at the fire. That's pretty cool. I might actually go up to Fort uh, Dun... Dun... God, I just saw the name of the freaking fort. And I still can't remember it. Yeah, Fort Dung. Yeah. I might go up there and uh, 
and actually try and burn it down now, unless it's repopulated. Alright, uh, hold F to mount, or not hold F. I actually have my, my proper horse here, so that's cool. And let's take a look at the map. Alright, and we're gonna go up here, I'm gonna try and burn it down. It's right behind me, let me see if we can go burn that place down. Alright, so I did a couple things here. Number one, I went over here and I went to my skills tab. And I put a point into uh, improved hunting. Because in order to like upgrade your base, right, you need certain materials that you can only get after you've put points into that. So if you look at the base right here, um, upgrade camp. I need board tusks, stag pelts, and buffalo pelts. I can't get any. Okay. So uh, what I did was I went to my skills tab and I, I put a point into um, that. And I got improved hunting and now I can get the buffalo pelts. But I'm still going to have to put another point on improved hunting too. Uh, which is going to be really expensive. But that's alright. Uh, and then what I did was I went to my camp and I set up an order for 20 buffalo pelts. But that's that's a, that's a not what I wanted to do. 20 is too much. I only need 5. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add an order. And these buffalo pelts were not in here before. Now they are. And we only need 5. Maybe I need them for something else. I don't know. But that's pretty good. Also, what I did was I sent these guys up to make some um, some buck brush tea for health. So that's pretty cool. And uh, they're, what, basically what they do is they just go out and get the resources they're going to need for it. And they all have bows. And I have everything I need. One of them's got a gun, apparently. Um, and I have everything I need. So let's get going. I think I am actually going to sleep, though. I don't know if there's a time thing in the game. This is a pretty busy UI screen. Uh, by the way, there's my weight. So... You know what I do? I'm gonna travel home. I'm gonna travel home. If I get on my horse and I press caps lock, no, that didn't do it. I thought that was what it did, but maybe if I right click and I, um, yeah, there's a way to travel home. I, I I've done it. I have the option, but now I don't seem to have the option. It's like it like takes you home like automatically, and it's not like a fast travel thing. I think it actually like rides you home. Oh, you know what? Before I go home, let's do what we came here to do. Let's see if we can burn this place to the ground. All right, so um, E, burn settlement, hold G. It should have done it by now. Oh, <laughs> you just have to press it once. You don't have to hold it down. And there you go. All right, it was caps lock. So I'm looking down below. It says enable auto travel, caps lock. Okay, I'm not sure why it didn't do it earlier. I was pressing caps lock. All right, and I'm guessing this is going to take me back to base. Uh, enable auto travel. I don't know if I hit something. I might have turned it off. Maybe, does it turn it off when you come here? No, I must have hit, I must have hit the caps lock button by mistake. Tab is right next to caps lock, so. I'm not sure, yeah, yeah, he's gonna go home. That's awesome. That is so cool. And you know, it's much better than like, the auto travel of, oh, you disappear, and now you're home. You actually have to sit through the travel, and it's pretty cool. I mean, it might get old if you're like, really far away from your camp, but, I don't know, this is pretty cool. Alright, slept through the night, and I tried to get my guys to come out here and settle, but they can't, because they need a certain amount of stuff. Here, let me see what I'm talking about. We're going to go right here, and we're going to go to settle, and I want to settle right there. Alright, and they need 20 wood and 10 rope. The problem is the wood is the wood alone is going to be more, warrior, more weight than they can take, but I can only send one warrior. So, what am I supposed to do? I know there's a skill that lets them hold more. Is the is the skill the only way I can get them to do what I need them to do? Maybe if they take a horse, that would help? But it doesn't say. So, anyway, I don't have the rope anyway. So, I put the rope in an order uh, here and see if we can get them to uh, get some rope. They're still out getting buck brush leaves. But we got... Wait, how do we have 10? I, I took 10 off the... I took 10 out of there. I've got 10 on me. They must have made another 10. Wow, they're, they're pretty quick. Let's see. Uh, should be all at the bottom. Yeah, well, we already had the um, the Bruckbush leaf, so. All right, well, whatever. They're going to do their thing. I'm going to go out and get into some shenanigans. Uh, so let's go down here and let's see what we can do. I wish the, um, it was a little bit easier to see the campfires. So we're going to fast travel to this place. I, I, I understand, like that going in during the night would probably be better uh, for my sneaking prospects. But I'm trying to make a YouTube video, and I want people to be able to see. So, you know, can't always, you know, we don't always get what we want, right? 
what is that? Mount and horse holds Z. What can the horse hold stuff? Saddlebag empty. Take all. Oh, okay, cool. So can I put stuff in there? I can. Interesting. And the bond level. Oh, okay. And there's the tip points. 301 of 300. Must be doing pretty good. All right. Let's mount up. Regulators! Mount up. Uh, should we take out this camp before we come down here? What is that? Oh, a trading post. Interesting. I'm not going to mess around with that right now, but should we go to Fort Ellsworth and, and try and get into some shenanigans, or should I take out this woods, the cabin in the woods? I think I'm going to go to the fort. Yeah, let's go to the fort. The hell with it. All right. Just got to go straight ahead. And I'd like to hit the road. I do like to get on the roads because um, if you're not on the roads, <laughs> it's just, you know, you never know what you're going to get, right? It's usually when my horse en ends up taking damage. All right, let's go this way. And zigzag through here. Try and find that road. Should be right up here. Somewhere. Yeah, there it is. You can barely see them, but yeah, there it is. Cool. So this place looks like it's actually in the process of being built, and it looks like it's going to be a pain in the butt. So let me just go ahead and put my horse over here. Hopefully he'll be okay. I'm sure he will be. And we do have a guy out there chopping wood in the middle of the field. So, okay. So we call him or... Well, let's give him a call. Right, this might be too far away for the call thing, but you never know. Lure the enemy. Let's get in the... Get in the bushes. Aim at the human. I'll take a look. Yes, you take a look, buddy. F key, F key, F key. We're gonna knock him out and not kill him. Interrogate, gonna knock him out and not kill him. There you go. Don't hit her. Please stop. All right. Stop. I'll tell you where he is. He's okay. Don't, 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 don't. Stop, stop. Stop. I'll tell you where the goods are. Alright, now you said I could I loot him here, man. right? He has nothing to say. Yeah, I don't see how I can loot him here, but... We're just gonna stun him? And then I'm gonna pick him up if I can. Just getting flax. Get that flax out of the way. Oh, oh there you can loot him there. Take all. Uh, intimidate drag is ZE. Oh, no, there you go. And, oh boy. Okay, <laughs> let's go put him in the woods. Alright, something's going on. Everyone's getting killed at my base. What? Uh, is there a way I can fast travel back there to help? Or um, do the smoke signal thing? That would bring everyone in? I think. The smoke signal should bring everyone back to my base. That's what it says it does. Send, uh, send smoke signal forces all warriors from the camp to get back to camp and stay ignoring orders. Yeah, so some, some guys came in and killed my guys, unfortunately. Uh, but I can't really worry about that right now because I'm trying to take care of business here. So, let's I don't know. There's red arrows over there. So, that's that's interesting. I don't know if those were there last time or if I just missed them or... So long as neither of you do it here. Just, just don't, don't do anything. Come on, come on, come on. Please. Talk, talk, talk. Hey, no, no, no. I I'll tell you where to get to stop. Stop. I can be useful. Oh boy. Well, probably. Huh. Well, long story short. They're, they're here. They're here. Damn it. I need to reload. Ah. Enemy sighted. Stop shooting me. Stop shooting him. Get out of there. Get out of there. Run away. Any of them? Guys, they're here. I'm going to go back to my horse. <laughs> Oh, actually, I'm not sure where my horse is. Does my horse show up on the... Yeah, he's over there. All right, I'm going to get back to my horse. This might be my guy. Okay, talk. You better talk, bro. Stop. I can be useful. That's right. Okay, okay. I'll tell you where he is. This is my guy, by the way. Hey, please, don't hurt me. I, I, I don't know anything. There you go. He didn't tell me anything. That was him, right? Oh, no. Yeah, that's him. That's him. I'm not really sure why he didn't talk. So I will try and intimidate him some more. 
The last time I tried to intimidate someone some more, they got up and started running around. So first things first, let's go ahead and loot them. All right, and then let's, uh, I guess we'll try and intimidate him again. Like I said, last time I did this, they ran away. It didn't really work, but. Nick Cheese. Yeah, he's my guy. Oh, there we go. The first of what will be many. These scum have come to take my land. They will find no peace here. The pain and suffering of my people will be dealt back tenfold onto these outsiders. Our resistance will not end until every one of these snakes is dead or gone. This land is my land. Okay. Sounds good, buddy. Alright. Get him again. Get him again. No, we can't. Can I not intimidate? What's he doing? I'm not really sure what's going on here. Okay, he's running away. Alright, well, I finished the quest. Now, should I try and empty out the town? I don't know. I think that's it, guys. I don't think there's any more quests. So, yeah, I think... Well, there, maybe I'll get quests later. I don't know. But I don't think I have one right now. So, I think what I'm going to do... Is I'm going to go in there and try and empty out that town. Okay, it's finally daytime out. Okay, got this guy. Okay. And now we're going to pick him up and drag him the heck away. One at a time. I'm going to get them all. Alright, just creeping up on this guy. There you go. They got to come out here and take a piece sometime. Come on, come on, get him, get him, get him. Go, go, go! Get him out of there! If I just leave the body there, they'll wake him up. Although, I guess I could have taken his weapons pretty quickly, but I'd still prefer them not to see the body if possible. There we go. Look. Yep, you come take a look, buddy. You do that. Come take a look, Paul Bunyan. Probably just throw him down, like, leave him in this bush, honestly. There we go. I'm getting good at this. <laughs> Stunned! And I will take his stuff, just in case they find him. Nope, don't stab him. Damn it, I think I just killed him. <laughs> oh, well. <laughs> Oops. Alright, well, it's good. It's all good. Uh, I was reading some things that the game said, and the game, like, in its little, like, tutorial thingies, was saying that there's benefits to being, like, you know, having bad and good reputation. It, it's not really, like, the end of the world. It's not like you go for one or the other. So, by the way, taking this place at night was significantly harder than during the day. Because they all go in to sleep at night. I feel like Rambo. <laughs> you know, like First Blood? Um, interrogation. Uh, think about what you're doing. Wolfgang, whatever, is is going to fill you full of lead if something happens to me. Be a good engine and leave me be. Uh, boy. Uh, trying to be useful. I will check your words. White man speaks with the tongue of a snake. It sounds like he's being truthful, so I will not kill him. Although I should for calling me an engine. It's not very, not very nice, but. All right, he's dead. I think um people are actually getting uh, I think people are getting like woken up. Uh, maybe I'm not hiding the bodies well enough. I, I don't know, but. Pretty sure people are getting woken up. Okay, he obviously saw me the whole time. So I will just cap him in his face. And I got no more bullets left. Yeah, I don't know. It's going to take an hour, though, to run these... Like, I'll have to run the bodies, like, all the way out here. Just for them not to get spotted. Like, I don't know, man. I may just start killing people. <laughs> Alright, there was a patrol after me during the night. <laughs> I actually ran out of, like, all the armor and weapons I had. Or not armor, but ammo. I ran out of all my ammo, um, so I went up and started slicing them with a knife, and I just barely took them all out. Now, I have two theories about what's going on here. Oh, boy, hold on. I have two theories about what's going on here. Either I was knocking people out, and they were getting seen and revived, or, or enemies keep respawning here. Now, I've lost a lot of um, uh, reputation by killing people here. I'm just going to kill everyone, because I'd really like to... Clear this out if it's possible. So we'll see. We'll see what we can do. Okay, you gonna come check that out? Come and check it out. Uh, it looks like you might be coming. To, no. See, sometimes they don't. They don't come to check out the call. Sometimes they're just too effing smart. Yeah, I'm pretty sure everyone in the bushes. Like, maybe they didn't get rescued. Maybe they just woke up. 
So I don't know, man. I might have to kill people. I, I don't like doesn't seem to be working. You know, the non-lethal route does not seem to be working too well for me. There we go. All right. Yeah, this is Skull. I definitely took this guy out before. I'm gonna stun him again. I know Skull. I remember the um. I remember the name. Now, if he has weapons on, then I'm really going to be pissed. He must have just picked up his weapons. Because remember, did I like throw his weapons like down at his feet or something? Yeah, he must have woke up, picked up his weapons or something. Let's see if he's got any weapons on him. It looked like he's got something on his back. Uh, loot. Oh, yeah, he's got... Okay, just... I don't know, guys. I don't know how not to kill people. So... Doesn't really seem to work for me. But I will do some uh, looking into it, but... Maybe maybe when you knock him out, you have to take the base quickly enough, you know. Maybe you can kill the first couple people, then like like the last few, you could just knock them out. It's hard to see the dot on the screen too. Oh my god, there's two more people over here. Yeah, I'm just gonna kill everyone. I'm just gonna kill everyone. This is insane. Everyone I knocked out just came back. I'm killing them all. All right, I killed Wolfgang without realizing I wasn't supposed to, so that's okay. And let's get this guy, Tom. What's going on, Tom? Please, stop. You filthy savage. Get your dirty hands off me. Release now or I'll send uh, some dude to destroy your camps. Uh, um, interesting, but now what to do with you? Uh, stun him. I don't know anything. There you go. Stunned. All right. So is that it? We done here? I think we're done. Let's go ahead and loot this guy in case he gets back up. And now I'm over in combat. So let's go ahead and drop some stuff. This has been a real shit show of an episode. <laughs> I think what I'm going to do is after here, I'm going to try and like do some research on why those guys came back so quickly. Maybe you just got to like knock them all out really quick. I, I don't know, but um, I prefer not to murder everybody if possible. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe you have to. Maybe you have to. Find a location. You can't. You can find out location by interrogation. Okay, so I can't carry anything. Someone said I could send a war party here, and they'll loot it for me. So, let me see if I could do that. Um, create a war party. Take uh, four warriors. Um, they already have stuff on them, right? Alright, yeah, they have stuff on them. Uh, yes. Yes, take horses. Yes. Okay, create. Can't create. A war party can be created only when you stand close to a lit campfire inside a friendly camp. Crap. So should, so should I go home and then send a war party out here? I can't loot anything because it's going to take forever. I could just say screw the loot and burn down the camp. That doesn't seem like a very good idea though. Um, yeah, I think I'm going to go home and come back and hopefully people won't be respawned. All right, I am back and I went ahead and did some research. All right. And karma shows up on your character and it sees little red dots, right? And if your reputation, it's not karma, it's reputation karma, same thing. And if those go blue, then that means you got good karma. So I've been killing way too many people. But as I said before, I knocked out like five or six guys and they just either woke up or got woken up or whatever. Um, any tips you guys have for me? Like, was that fort just too much to try and take? Was I, was I overstepping my bounds? Like once I got the information from that guy, should I have left? I have no clue. Okay, my thought is that those guys that got knocked out woke up on their own and went back and picked up their guns and went back in, into the fort. Now, if there's like 10 guys there or something like that, I can't knock them out quickly enough. You know what I mean? So how do I handle that? Let me know in the comments because I prefer not to kill anyone. I just went ahead and looked at some of the... Um, I, I had trouble finding information on this game, but the information I did find um, said that basically all the karma things are bad. You're going to have a harder time getting warriors. Like, there's nothing good about it at all. But maybe that information was old. I don't know. Uh, it was really hard to find information about this game. So, uh, if you guys could let me know anything in the comments, that would be great. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to hopefully send some guys out to settle. Okay? So, everyone is back at the camp. That's great. Okay? That, maybe that's why more people aren't joining because my, repu my reputation has gotten so bad. Who knows? All right, so we're going to go to Saddle. Do they have everything they need? They should. Yep, we got the rope. All right, cool. So, Saddle. And, nope, nope, not there. I try and drag, and I end up clicking the button. I don't know if there's a way to drag 
when you're in the settlement option, but there we go. All right, so we're going to settle right here. Okay, sounds good. And then we are going to send three settlers. I don't know. If my settlers start dying, how do I recruit more? That's another thing I need to know. Uh, we're going to equip the group uh, with bows. Now, is it the whole group, right? Oh, they all have their bows. They have everything they need. Uh, by the way, when I was asking how you're supposed to send one settler, the reason I can only send one settler is because all my settlers were out and about. Uh, once they're all at camp, then you can send more than one settler, and they can hold a certain amount of weight each, and that's why they do what they do. All right, so that's good. Three settlers, three bows. They got the arrows, the ropes, and... All right. And we will just kind of fast forward. And are we going to see them? Yep. Are they going down there? I don't know how long this is going to take. I'm assuming those guys are going down here. Because nobody else has any orders for anything. Um, although, I still have 10 rope here. That's kind of weird. Oh, there they go. The rope's going, I guess, one at a time. It's kind of odd. But Oh, we got the buffalo pelts. That's cool. Okay, we got another camp. And it's weird. I got a camp down here. But up here opened up. That's kind of odd, isn't it? Huh. <laughs> well, that works. Can join your resistance, but how? How can you join my resistance? I don't know. Maybe I should go over there and try and talk to them. How do I get these people to join? All right. What I need to know is, like I said, um, help me out with trying not to kill people. Any tips are more than welcome. Also, how do I get more people to join? How do I get more warriors to join? How do I get these guys to join? I kind of want to build up my um, my my base here. And maybe I should start clearing out a little bit of the smaller camps. Like there was a small camp over here. Go a little bit smaller. I, I might want to go back and burn that place down too. All right. Can I actually go there? Okay. Well, let's go there. And maybe we could burn this place down. Um, or maybe I can like bring in a, 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 crew of, uh, a crew of Native Americans to like loot the place. I think if I bring in a war party, maybe my guys can loot it. I, I really don't know. Um, let me go. Let me go scout it out first before I do that. All right, this guy's still alive here, so I'm just gonna go ahead and stun him, and then try and burn the place down. Okay, so, like, he, I I did the same thing before, and he just got back up, and he's still here. So. I can maybe try and... I mean, if I burn the place down, I'm going to give up on all the loot, right? And there's probably a good amount of loot in here. Yeah, I don't think I want to give up on the loot. All right, this is what I'm going to do. i got to call this video here. But what I'm going to do is, uh, next time I play, I'm going to read your comments first, okay? And then next time I play, I'm thinking about coming here, knocking them out, then getting my war party to maybe loot the place. I don't know. Like I said, someone said, um, if you make your warriors attack an empty full camp, you can loot and burn it down. So you, def you don't necessarily have to loot everything yourself. Sounds like my war party can do a lot of the looting. But either way, I am going to call this one here, guys. If you haven't enjoyed the video, please remember to uncage that like button. Also, if you're new here, please subscribe for more daily videos. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time. And until then, take it easy.